In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve for x in a division problem. What we have here is an x strip, and this x strip has been divided into five pieces. We're told that one piece is going to balance equal to three negatives, which we were representing with these orange circles. Well, if one piece balanced with three negatives, the next piece, we should assume, has three negatives. Same with the next, same with the next, same with the next. And what we've done is we've got this repeated row of three negatives. This repetition, or repeated addition, we can represent with multiplication. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, must fill up the entire strip. We can represent this algebraically when x is divided by 5 by multiplying by 5. In other words, repeating that fifth 5 times. Of course, if we multiply the left side by 5, we'll also multiply the right side by 5. When we do that, you'll notice the 5's divide out on the left side, leaving just the x equal to the negative 15, like we expect. So the opposite of division turns out to be multiplication, to isolate the x and get our variable alone, which is our goal. So in this first example at the bottom, we're dividing by negative 7. To get rid of that division, we multiply by negative 7 on both sides of the equal sign. The negative 7's divide out, and the x is finally alone, and negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. Similarly, in the middle, x divided by 8, the opposite of dividing x by 8 is to multiply it by 8. And if we do it on one side, we must do the same thing on the other side of the equation. The 8's will divide out, and we get x is equal to 40. Similarly, on the last example, we're dividing by negative 4, so to balance, we'll multiply both sides by negative 4, getting the x alone. The negative 4's divide out, and all that remains is the x, equal to negative 36. We can check all four of these answers by replacing the variables with the numbers they represent. x, or negative 15, divided by 5, is negative 3. 14, divided by negative 7, is negative 2. 40, divided by 8, is 5. And negative 36 divided by negative 4 is 9. By continuing this pattern of using the opposite operation, we can get the x alone on either side to find out what number x is equal to.